And so here we go then. The cup is for collection. It is a feeling, a moment, an occasion. Steve West knows all too well. He's been here before. He's picked it up before. He beat Fallon Sherrick in week seven of the previous series to qualify for Champions Week. He's got some retribution as far as Champions Week is concerned. He narrowly missed out on Champions Night in the final game of a session. He takes on Shane McGurk, who may have gone under the radar this evening, who may pick up his biggest title since that development tour win. The Arrow looking to fire his way to Champions Week. Steve West simply wants to be the best. But for who? Is week five glory. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Going to head first leg, in their it's Shane direction. to throw first. Game on. It is Charlie Corsafine that'll be calling out the scores. And he calls Shane McGurk to the board. He won the bull up in the practice room. It is a unique game in that aspect. 60. Where the players will bull up for the honour to throw first. Shane was successful in the exercise. But Steve West has been here before. He has won it before. 100. He's actually wearing the same coloured shirt as the night that he beat Fallon Sherrikin. Maybe the omens, maybe the superstitions may well bear fruit. 140. Bill Bars has joined myself in the commentary box for this one. And this has a real intriguing narrative towards it. It certainly does, Henry, and I'm looking forward to it. Steve West, the favourite going into it. But Shane McGurk is here to upset him. 140. It's a slow start here from Steve Shane West. And Shane McGurk is quick out of the blocks. Back-to-back -back 140s leaves 161 after nine. He has got out the gate the quickest. Now, he only had a couple of minutes to prepare, Steve West. He played the second semi-final against Ryan Harrington. And so he's had to 61. come down and then get back up Shane again. And it's been a slow 76. start to this first leg. And so Shane McGurk is 76 for the opening leg. It's going to be a dot at tops. 56. But he's going to come back. How much pressure can Steve West put this under? 93. Shane, you required 20. That's the minimum pressure. It could have been better. McGurk looking at 10s for 1 0. The tricky fives. Game shot. Made first it look easy. Line. First Shane blood, McGurk. Shane McGurk in the final. He got off and settled the better of the two. Second leg. As far as Steve West is concerned, it was Game only on. a hold of throw for Shane McGurk. He's still got to attain that break at some point, but. At least he wasn't broken when he had that slow start. But don't expect that start to last a very long. That's the one thing that, that Steve West won't mind. Yes, it wasn't a great leg, but it was only on the McGurk darts. 60. He'd have been devastated if it was on his. 1st Max. 140. In the blink of an eye. Steve West has awoke. We thought it would take him maybe a leg to get into 95. it. And now he has got into proceedings. Forty three. That's a slip, but he's in a position where it shouldn't matter. Ninety eight. What do you give for a 138 to leave tops? What he'd give for a treble right about now. 58. He comes up dry. He is going to be first to finish on 120. But McGurk, with a big visit here, could pile all sorts of pressure upon it. Yeah, I said the 43 wasn't a disaster, but two trebleless visits 98. invites pressure. Steve, you're a creates a bit of a problem. That looks a perfect guide. Finds it. Tops for one all. And a ton topper. 80. Doesn't go. Shane, you're going to find the ton topper, but can McGurk find a whopper? 
for the break of foe a 2-0 lead. It's not going to happen. And so West will come back for tops to level this final up at one apiece. 49. Steve, you require 40. Steve West will want this to be clean. Game shot and in the second. And it's clean though. and clinical. Steve West. One all in the final. They both spent the opening rounds jabbing each other out. Third leg, it's Shane to throw I'm expecting first. haymakers. Game on. Who is going to land that first world decisive blow, we wonder. West, who has some support towards the back of the arena. 60. Some family and friends making their way down to support him on this Saturday night. Just needs to adjust to the wrong side 50. of the wire. It's a plum first dart. 140. There's been moments from both players, but neither have really properly clicked into gear yet. It's the sort of tension that you expect from a final of this magnitude. 135. Steve West recovered well. The first dart was in the treble five, but found the adjustment. And he's staying with McGurk here on throw. But worrying for Steve 99. West, Shane McGurk is just beginning to find the lie of that first dart. One hundred and forty. He is, but he's also not finding dart two to go alongside it. He's looking at the eighteens there. Forty two. I thought it was a wild dart. The treble twenty that went to the treble one. He was actually looking. At the 18 segment. But is this Steve West's moment? 140. That 140 leads on double 18. And the McGurk throw is under the severest of all pressure. This 160 has to go. And Steve West may well now get the break that he needs to win this final. 80. We said who would land Steve, the first blow. 36. And it is first opportunity to Steve West. Double 18 Game to break. The third line. Only needs Steve the West. one. Break of throw. West leads. And he may well be beginning to go through the gears. That was a 13 data to accrue the break, Steve Fourth West. Leg. It's Steve to throw first. Game on. And for the first time, Henry, Steve West has average is over the 96 mark and there's 11 and a half points difference right now. 100. The chasm is beginning to appear. And the thing with Steve West is when he gets into this particular position, it is very hard to stop him. He is a fantastic front runner. Very much so. Once he's out in front, he's a hard man to catch. 100. And now he's piling in another two treble visit as the 140 column moves to five. Maybe he is a bit like a freight train. And the fact that he may well be full steam ahead now. But McGurk is sticking with him. Sing it, Charlie. 180. The Charlie Corsafin call, which will never, ever be tiresome to hear. 26. Steve That's not though. 81. For Steve West for a potential 11 dart leg to put him on the brink. Game shot. That on the is magnificent. Play. Steve and West. Steve West is now a leg away from returning to Champions Week. Fifth Somewhere he feels he first. belongs. Game on. Something he feels he should win, that he wants to win, that is high up on his priority list. McGurk needs to win the lot. Steve West averaging 104 back-to-back -back legs, 11 and 13. He's turning the screw right now. And here is us worrying about a potential slow start in this game from Steve West. He's seeing the finishing line in front of him. He's 100. making a run towards it. But McGurk will want to make him serve it out. Don't hand it to him on a plate. 100. How he would pray for at least a 140 about now, Shane McGurk. 
53. Has that just opened the door to let Steve West in? One hundred and thirty-four. It's still advantage McGurk because he's got the darts. Needs another. Ninety-eight. All about the setup for Steve. McGurk's gonna have to take this out. One hundred and thirty-six. This one ten is gonna have Change to go. Change one hundred and ten. This is a match saving 110. And he's going to get a dart at tops to save it. 70. And it goes begging. And so. Steve, you require 48. He knows what this position is like. And Steve West has tops. Double 10. 38. And two championship points have come and gone. Shane, you require 40. We saw in his first match when he missed a couple of match darts, it affected him. If McGurk can pin this, will history repeat itself? 35. And so Steve so West ten. comes back for more match darts. Game And shots. Steve West! And the match! And the Motor Super Circa Series Week 5 his way champion, back to Champions Week. Steve West. West returns to the top table of the Super Series. He is a qualification week winner once more. And you can see the belief on his face. Doing so with a tongue-topping average. And Phil Bars, Steve West at the beginning of the night, was a player on everybody's lips, on everybody's minds. And he is now the victor. He was the form horse. He had the pedigree. It was, could he get over the line? Everyone tipped him. Everyone thought he was the standout. And he has delivered in the final a tongue-topping average. 50% on his doubles. It was a cagey start, but in that middle section, 11, 13 dart legs really did the damage. And at that point, Shane McGurk didn't have the answers. He's played very well, but it's just that pedigree at the highest level has come to the forefront. And Steve West drew upon every single ounce of his experience this evening. There was different types of victories. He raced in front against Dan Reed. He then won 4-3 in the end. And then very quickly in that semi-final, blew away Ryan Harrington before doing the job here. Absolutely. And as we can head now to the stage for Chris Murphy and the presentation. Thanks very much, guys. Yeah, Steve West just getting a bit of a round of applause and deservedly so. Uh, Steve, it's been a kind of a drama-free week for you. Is that how it's felt? Uh, yeah, no. I would say drama free, but not easy. Yes. <laughs> drama was there potentially, but I averted that, so you, that's, that's good. A couple of games. You lost one match all week. Dan Reed beat you on Thursday night. Yeah. Nearly beat you again tonight. Came back from 3 0 behind. Yeah, I mean, a little bit of a thing in the crowd there, but that, I let that bother me. That's not nothing to do with Dan, and I think he put him off more than it did me, to be fair, but I got through, and that's, you know, that's the main thing. When I've been talking to the boys, Henry Deak and Phil Bars, um, Scott Mitchell earlier in the week, everybody's been saying this is a field that Steve West should really win. He's the best player, he's the most experienced player. Is that the attitude you came in with? No, not really, because I watched all the week and I watched Tommy Morris play some darts and I'll tell you now, that guy is he's destined for good things. He doesn't take a drop of alcohol, he just gets on and he plays his game. He's like a rapid bullet and he's fantastic to watch. Of course you would have backed yourself to beat him anyway, yeah, but when, when you saw him lose in the semi, was that a little bit Bonus. of a result for you? Bonus for me. I'd already beat Shane earlier on in the night, so for, for Tommy to lose to Shane, that was for me as a bit of a kick up the R uh, kind of pass. And then, you know, I, I, I don't think I'm going to lose then. Once that's gone, that's gone. Tommy was my main danger and he, and he went. That's good for me. You won your week in the previous series. You've done it again. Mm -hmm. Champions week last time, you got very, very close to getting to finals. Now, is there some unfinished business now? Did we have to mention it? Had yeah, to. probably. <laughs> but yeah, no, my next step is to qualify for finals night on Champions week. And that's why I'm back here and that's what I want to do. Right, well, you might have a, a big old trophy to lift then, but for now we've got this one. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm going to take the mic off you and I'm going to let you have your moment. Thank so you. the week five winner, ladies and gentlemen, Steve West. Brilliant stuff. 
Steve West, our winner of week five. Brilliant stuff from Steve this week. He was simply the best.